Welcome to the Layered Earth. In this video, we'll explore the underlying causes of the recent and devastating tsunami in Japan. The surface of the Earth is comprised of individual pieces called tectonic plates. Japan is located at the meeting place of the Eurasian, Okhotsk, and Pacific plates in the geologically active area known as the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire circles the Pacific Ocean where plate boundaries meet. These plates fit together rather like a jigsaw puzzle but are in constant motion relative to one another. The strain generated by this motion can build for centuries and may finally release in the form of an earthquake. At the junction of the three tectonic plates and encompassed by the Ring of Fire, Japan is vulnerable to the Earth's unrest. On March 11, 2011, an 8.9 magnitude quake, the strongest in Japan's history, occurred at sea and resulted in a devastating tsunami. A tsunami is usually caused by an underwater earthquake. This type of earthquake occurs offshore where two of Earth's plates collide. One plate pushes under the other. Over time, pressure builds and the top plate breaks free, springing upward. Water is forced violently toward the surface and a tsunami is created. Tsunami waves travel away from the epicenter in all directions. These waves get smaller as they travel further from the epicenter. If you are in a boat in deep water, you might not even notice the tsunami. Traveling very quickly, tsunami waves slow down, bunch up, and grow taller when they reach shallow water near the shore. Waves that were small in deep ocean can grow large and very dangerous, causing tremendous damage and extensive flooding. Each subsequent wave brings more water, more debris, and more devastation. To learn more about tsunamis, visit thelayeredearth.com.